we got my inverter that I've hardwired in a 50 amp plug. It's just running to the factory. Got four batteries here. I wanted about 300 watts, but you see. And then there's the other two batteries up behind there that make that run off these four to make six. So these four come into this, which is on which is one bank, and then this one is this positive and this negative are from the back batteries. So I can do you know just these four are all six together which is doing right now or just the factory ones <laughs> gotta hook up the battery charger because I got the AC running nice and cold blowing out of there got the back air conditioner on Running this AC. Well, for battery power, but that pulls a lot of uh, watts. So the plan is I'm going to take this, cut it in half. It's white on both sides. Use one for here. I'm going to cut out a square to fit the AC on the bottom right here and have the white wood around it. So I'll have a window unit here, and I was going to do the bottom one for a window unit in the back. That way I can have 12, 13 hours of runtime on window units compared to like 5 to 6 hours with one of these. So I'll be able to run all night on window AC conditioners. Window unit. And once I get all that done, I'll do another video. It's my Marquise. Ice maker. It's dirty. I got stuff from the last trip that I gotta clean up. But it has the toilet. So everything's clean. Porcelain toilet. Tile. We'll close that. Back bedroom with the caterpillar underneath. Cedar closet. Still has the original Marquise jackets. Two of them. Oh, that one fell. I'll pick it back up. There's the cedar closet. <laughs> Inverter, generator. AC hey, still cranking away all the 12 volt stuff. Let me turn off all these lights now. If anybody likes VHSs, these are all in here from the original owner. So many. All the windows are tinted. Hey 
Okay, we can turn on the lights. Clean the sink. Yeah. New fridge. Ice maker. We got the beaver cups, the originals. We got three of those and then the crystals. And then I installed this ceiling fan because I want I have it running off the light right now. Um because I want to test it, but I just want to run here to here the wire here to here and come off this wiring for this because it's right here by this vent and like right now the AC's on. But when you turn this on and the controller's right there for the front AC. So between that pulling and circulating air and these little mini ones that I have that I just had on, you do this. Those running makes that air conditioner not kick on so often so I'm saving power um, so that's the plan for that because I want to do like I said if between the fans and, and if I do a window unit here I'm gonna test to see how cool it will cool this off and I might have to add one just for the bedroom or leave it in the bedroom at night so that way I could because with six batteries and my inverter and the solar which I'll take you up to I will be able to run a window unit all night for 12 to 13 hours with the amp hours that I have. We'll take you up here. See the AC is running. Pressure's on. So I haven't finished the wires, but this main wire in the middle is the one that comes down to the fridge vent, goes down through the hole on that side, and then comes down around to the two wires. I'll take two. So those two wires that are coming down from the fridge vent come to this positive, this negative, instead of any amp fuse for this 60 amp charge controller, we were pulling like right at 400 watts, you know, with clouds, because there's like 900 watts on the roof right now, 1,000 watts on the roof. So those go up to, I made them be able to, not only is there the fuse, but you can disconnect them and put a watt at one to two. So if you wanted to um, plug the one into the one side, you could have like ground panels out and connect them into this. That's why I made them disconnectable. So you could add panels to these connectors um, that come up into there. These go to the batteries. Yep, these go to the batteries. And like before, I have bank one, bank two, or both to run my 4,000 watt Pierce 9 wave inverter with a 50 amp with the AC still running. Come back here, turn it off. Off. Now it turned off. And now you'll be able to see my battery voltage and we'll continue to go up on this one because the solar is going to be charging it now. Yep. Let me turn off all these other lights. We'll go back outside. Oh yeah, it's got the smart TV and the desk up here. It's cool. This being a 1990, it had the electric recliner for the passenger seat. I'll come up here and give it a start.
start. Builds air pressure perfectly. You focus. Backup camera still works. to be a 90 um, mm -hmm. super clean Man, I need to clean it up because I've been using it lately but that's the solar install and if we come down here Yeah, see now that the, the voltages have went back up in the battery, we're only pulling in 155s. And look at the clouds. So, yeah. We're only pulling in 170, 180. Just fine. Nice little charge for just that little test that I ran. 50 amp plug. I'm going, that's just for now. I have this, uh, this wire, this third, this big black cable. I have it running back to it is right there for now. I'm going to get it up to like hang right here so you if you, if you didn't want to you, you don't have to uh i could just unplug this right now I'm not running anything in there we can uh you can either use the cord if you wanted to the 50 amp regular cord or i'll have the 30 amp um plug that twist or that's a that's a 50 amp twist lock because this is 50 amp twist lock so it's 50 to, to that to that 30 amp cable and i can plug that i can put another um was it a mail in for the inverter over here because this cord i just i just got it wrapped up right there it stops right there see i could take those and run it over to like um what do we need like a a 50 to a 30 I got so many plugs over here but like a 50 male to like a 30 amp male I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna figure it out because I can run those wires to make a plug to plug into this 50 amp female so we shall see